sketch the graph and determine the domain and range. Here we have a logarithmic function, so let's begin with the basic graph, y equals the natural log of x. And after we identify the basic graph, we can then use the transformations that we've learned to sketch the graph. So here I notice we have the natural log of negative x. That corresponds to a reflection about the y-axis. And then I notice we have the natural log of negative x plus 2. The plus 2 corresponds to a translation up 2 units. Now once we identify the basic graph and the translations, we can then, or the transformations, we can then sketch the graph. So let's begin with the natural log of x. Here we have the basic graph, y equals the natural log of x. Now let's reflect that about the y-axis. And then we can obtain our final graph, g, if we shift this up two units. And so doing that, here we have a rough sketch of the graph of g. Next, let's use that to determine the domain and range. Now the domain is defined to be the set of all x values for which g is defined. And since the graph is asymptotic here to the y-axis, 0 is the non-inclusive upper bound, and all x values less than that are in the domain here as I shade. In interval notation, we can write this as the set from negative infinity to 0. Now the range is defined to be the set of all y values for which g is defined. And so in this case we could see the graph is defined for all y values. And the range is all real numbers. So we have the interval from negative infinity to infinity, which is just basically all real numbers. And that's the domain and range.